Hello everybody and welcome to my quick review. Today we are going to talk about Eve Lum Mineral Powder Foundation. This is probably the fourth product that I tried from Eve Lum and their first product that I own from their uh, beauty or makeup range. Um, I tried their concealer and their liquid foundation and unfortunately they were slightly too dark for me. But um, this one seems to work pretty well to set foundations. Now, if you know, or if you've been following me, then you know that I do not use powder foundations on their own. I don't like how they sit. I don't like how they look. I don't like how, uh, I don't know. I don't like it, but I absolutely love it to set my liquid or cream foundations, but especially liquid. Uh, now, the beauty of this one is that it sort of smooths the lines, covers the pores and actually makes any blemishes look less noticeable. I'm not sure what kind of trickery they're using in this powder, but when I set my foundation with this, I mean, my skin looks completely photoshopped. It's really, really amazing. Um, on its own, mm, but when you set the foundation with this, it's absolutely beautiful. I usually buff in a bit of this on top of my foundation after my liquid foundation has set. So I buff this a little bit and it just gives the most gorgeous matte but radiant look. It's not anyhow powdery, it just like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like perfect skin. Anyways, uh, it is kind of a luxurious product mainly because it has amethyst, ruby, or ruby and rose quartz um, powder in it or particles or something like that. Then it says that it has a fruit stem cells extra extract and yeah, I think that's about it. It's 100% natural. Um, it says that skin stays hydrated. That's true. It doesn't, it doesn't sit on dryness or it doesn't uh, make your skin feel dry after the hours. It wears very beautifully. It doesn't have talk. Um, I think that's about it. But yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. And this one in particular, it's around NW10 to 12, maybe even 13. This is what it looks like. And let me see if I can swatch for you guys here. There, you can see it. Not sure if I buff it in, maybe you'll be able to see the reflection. No. But anyways, I absolutely love it. I think that it's a great uh, power to set foundations. And it also adds coverage. Now this on its own, at best it has medium coverage. But if you're using a medium coverage foundation, liquid foundation, then you put this on top, then you will achieve a full coverage without necessarily the heaviness or the cakiness of a full coverage foundation. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say about Evelom um, Mineral Powder Foundation. The shade that I have is Alabaster 1 or the lightest shade that there is. Um, can you? No. It still can't appreciate. It is just beautiful. It has some kind of shimmery particles, but I mean, it won't make your skin look shimmery. It will just make it look glowy and radiant, if that makes sense. So yeah, anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this sort of quick review. I'll put the blog post link down below where there will be the swatches and a little bit more information about this foundation and yeah. If you have any questions or comments regarding this foundation or a request to do um, this sort of quick review for any other foundation, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll try my best to accommodate you. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.